I did it! We actually did it! And the city's still standing! Fucking hell! It's over! The parasite! It's withered! Dead along with the nether brain! I am cleansed! I will never be a filthy geich! Only mild offense intended, of course. You did the unthinkable, and I'm grateful for it. Even when my time in the prism stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But first, Lazel. I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. Shak von Fintu. Source of my joy, you honor me. Vlakith will fall, and we will plant a seed. From that seed, Githyanki freedom will blossom. Lach crushed, Mac Vlek. So be it. Now, give me my freedom from this form. Your heart flutters with excitement, aspiration, and even hope. The astral plane awaits. A rebellion takes shape. The future of the Githyanki Empire rests on your shoulders. Battle awaits, and you mean to rise victorious. While navigating the disordered environs of Limbo, you and Lazel heard the summons, a telepathic emanation. You are accustomed to receiving dispatches and battle orders from the Githyanki rebel forces in this form. But this was different, an invitation to a gathering of friends, those allies who stood with you against the Netherbrain. Those who thwarted the grand design. Those who made your war against Vlacketh's tyranny possible. You cannot join them in person, but you shall be with them again, nonetheless, to project your image through the cosmos. It can be done with the aid of your allies, the mages of Zam Vadim. Now, the past bears made a face present. I know. Well In two months, we trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more, we skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, we traveled through Limbo. It's taken a dozen Gish's talents and a few stolen Psy crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure our projections here. Worth every one of those days and every drop of their sweat. Right here, right now, 
There's no other place I'd sooner be. Enjoy your night. Chatter away. For tomorrow, we face Zareth Minya Agith. Zareth Menya Agith. How well you know the name. The immortal god king of the Githzerai, and the ruler of their capital, Shraktalor. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that we must meet him, my love. Love. The word hangs in the air for a moment before Lazel continues, unfazed. Trust me, my blade is keen as ever. But it was here, in Faerun. Where I learned a proper victory doesn't always require a razor-sharp edge. Sometimes, a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. And if Minyara Gith refuses, we carry on. Gravity pulls us in but one direction. I am the Comet. We will blaze forth until we burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. And when the comet has risen, we will be forever together, as surely as Kaleer will forever circle the sun. Love. Until I knew you, I thought the mere idea a joke. A weakness indulged only by lesser species. You proved me a fool. I am forever grateful. Taste I will never grow tired of. <laughs> <laughs>